safeties, whether they be straps, spotter arms, or pin and pipe. An essential piece of equipment for any garage gym because you want to kill it in the gym, not be killed in the gym. So in this video, I'm going to break down the pros and cons of each type of safety and then we'll tally up the results at the end and ultimately figure out which one is the best for you. Let's go. The main things we're going to be focusing on in this video are the ease of use, the setup. How easy is it to transition from exercise to exercise with each safety? How easy is it to move them up and down the rack? How easy is it to store them? Another thing is functionality. We're gonna be going over how many different exercises each one of these safeties can be used for to either to do the exercise from the actual safety or in prevention of failure on each lift. And ultimately, what are the safeties gonna do when I bail on a lift? Are they gonna break? Are they gonna mar up my bar? What's gonna happen if I bail a lift? Okay, so first up on our list is the safety strap. The way these work is you decide what height you want them to be, and then you put the pin in, and then they rotate down, and you do the same thing on the other side. It's very, very simple to put them in here, to remove them. There's no pin that goes in there to lock them in place, but uh, you really don't need it, just because you're gonna have the weight of the bar coming down on this side and on that side evenly. They don't, they're not really gonna spin out this way, and so they're pretty safe like that. And also, this saves you time when you're gonna be moving them to different positions. They do go all the way across to the other side of the rack, so you just have to remember, you're gonna have to remove this. If you have the trolley arms or if you have a slinger, you're not gonna be able to use them over there, but they're super light and then you can just pin them over here like this. Next up, we have the Rogue Spotter Arm safeties. Now these spotter arms, they're gonna go on the rack the same way. They're gonna go in from the side, in the pinhole, and they swing down, and these ones actually have a top pin that locks them into place so they don't actually move at all. Um, so anyways, these are pretty easy to move around. These are heavier. Uh, so if you're the type of person that doesn't want to have to, well, you're lifting weights, so you're lifting heavy stuff anyways, why not lift some more heavy stuff? But uh, just come, something to keep in mind, the ease of, uh, you know, of, of switching them is a little bit more difficult than the straps, but there's only one side that you have to do. Plus, they don't attach to the other side, so if you wanted to do exercises off of these and come out here next to them, you could do that because they don't attach in both places. And also, something to think about is that you can do exercises off the front of the rack, too. So you don't, you're not limited to having to be in the middle here, which you are with the pin and pipe and the safety straps. You can go to the outside of the rack and do exercises out there. All right, next up we have the pin and pipe. And the way these work is, there's a pin and a pipe. Uh, you figure out where you want it to go on the rack. You throw this one partially way through. Put this one on top. Figure out which hole you're going into. G. And then it attaches to wherever you work. I call these the ain't nobody got time for that safety. Uh, I believe that was a, a famous philosopher who, who once said that. These are definitely not a time-saving um, safety. They work fine once they're up here. So as far as transitioning to different exercises, storage, uh, ease of transitioning to different exercises, I say that the straps are gonna win out. Definitely the straps or the spotter arms are going to win out on that, on that aspect. Um, the only reason I give the edge to the straps is because that they are very easily stored. You can put them on this side of the rack and then the strap will just hang down here. Whereas the spotter arms, they have to go somewhere on the rack. They may get in your way if you don't want the spotter arms on there. So I'm gonna give that one to the straps. Okay, so now that we've covered the storage and ease of use portion of the video, let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty. Why you got the safeties in the first place? This bench and the squat. 
There's a lot of other exercises you can do from them, but these are the main ones I'd say that you definitely are gonna need a spot. You don't want that bar coming down on your neck, your chest, stomach, rolling it off you, and you also don't want to trip or not be able to get out of a squat and be crushed underneath the bar. I'm sure you guys have all seen the videos. We don't want that happening. So I'm gonna show you how each one performs and the differences uh, when you bail the lift. So we got about 2,000 pounds up here, but it's for demonstration purposes, so I'm going light. With the, the pin and pipe. Oh no! Boom. So the issue, number one, it's loud. Number two, there is no UHM plastic on the pin and the pipe, so therefore the knurling of your bar is going to hit right on the metal. Over time, it's gonna ding, you're gonna have uh, paint that's gone. If you don't care about those things, and I'm not saying that you know, it's a big deal for me with this bar, but maybe you have a specialty bar that you really wanna keep nice, one of those real expensive ones that you got, this is definitely not the one that you want to get if you care about your barbell. Um, if you don't, then that's great. I don't want to see in the comment section, oh, it's fitness equipment, you know, be a man, who gives a crap? Some people do, that's why I'm saying. Over time, this one will, uh, you know, eat at the knurling, depending on where it hits. Uh, but I do like the fact that it goes the whole length of the rack. And I'll show you why that's important on the other one. But real quickly, before we get to that, this is one of those foam pool noodles that you can get from the dollar store. Uh, if you get two of these, slice them down the middle, you can put them over the top of the pin and pipe and that will cut down on the noise and it will also cut down on the knurling of the barbell hitting those. But it's always an option if you want to go with these ones, you can put this on there and protect your bar. Okay, so next up we have the spotter arms. Same concept here, I'm going to squat, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you bail the lift. So as you can see, or rather, as you can hear, it is not metal on metal, so it's not going to be as noisy, plus you have that UHM plastic on here, and that really prevents from any sort of damage to your bar or the safeties over time. The UHM plastic can be removed, you can get a replacement piece once you need that, so anytime it gets worn down, you're just going to replace that. And I'll go ahead and give you a close-up. I've had these for about four years, and uh, you know, there's some damage just to the sides, but really that UHM plastic holds up. So really I don't think I'll have to ever replace this. But one thing you do want to keep in mind is the fact that they just do not go all the way to the end of your rack. So let's say you're, you're going up for your lift, you step back and you, and you trip, you trip backwards and you bail over here. Well, that thing's going to go right down. You're going to fall on top of it, or maybe you won't, maybe you'll be able to get out of the way, but it's really going to, scrape up the bottom of your rack. Uh, so really, you're limited on the space that you can do your squat. You gotta be a little bit closer up here, or you can put them on the other side of the rack and do your squat from there, but you just need to be aware of where you are in the rack rather uh, than knowing that you're, you're safe no matter where you are in the rack. And finally, last but not least, we have the straps. And as you can hear on this one, little to no noise, when you screw up, if you have people around, they might not even notice you screwed up and uh, you can save face. Uh, but no, seriously though, uh, these ones I think are awesome as far as no noise, no damage to your barbell. And my only concern with these ones would be the fact that it is fabric stitched together. There's a ton of it on here and the stitch, stitching looks great, big fat stitches, and I think they're gonna hold up over time, but that'd be my only concern. I've only had these for like two months now, and so uh, the other ones are metal with the UHM plastic on them. They're never gonna break unless you were to really force, put some heavy force on those things. Uh, you know, the welds would have to break. You'd be, you know, you could have the same concern about your rack breaking. So uh, that would be my only, my only concern on these ones, but other than that, I think they're fantastic.
So in that regard, I'm going to go ahead and have to give the straps another point on that one, just because there's no noise and also it's not going to hurt my barbell when I'm using it. So even though safeties are primarily used to prevent injury when you're doing a lift, the oh crap, good you got me device, uh, there's also a lot of exercises you can do right from the safeties. And so I'm gonna go over a few of those ones and tell you which ones I think are best in that regard. Uh, so for example, like you have the, um, the, uh, the pin squat. So it's basically where you start with the barbell, resting on the safeties and you're using, you're, you're basically having to use your glutes to get up out of the hole. And then you go back down and it rests on, right? Damn, that looked hard, huh? I was just playing around, that wasn't hard. Um, anyways, uh, they, uh, the reason I like the straps for those is because I don't like to be jarred when I'm going back down. So when you're going back down into the squat position and you hit the bars going across, I'll show you. So let's say I've performed that same movement, the pin squat, from the spotter arms, and this will be the same for the uh, pin and pipe. I go up, I do my first movement, I come down, and unless I come down extremely evenly, uh, it's either gonna hit one side or the other, which then jostles the bar, and personally it throws me off. Maybe I'm just complaining, but I find that I can focus a lot better when I don't hit any metal on the way down. So a pin press, uh, which is a bench press, pin press, or, or a pin squat, I think are way better on the straps than on the uh, metal or the, uh, the spotter arms or the pin press. Another exercise I like to do right from the spotters, uh, and any of the safeties really, you can do these from the straps on the inside of the rack, you can do them from the pin and pipe as well, but just something to think about when you're when you're wanting to utilize a, a, a safety it is the fact that, um, for example, the overhead press. Everybody knows it's very important to get in the correct position to do an overhead press, so getting into the correct position, then walking out with the bar away from the J-hooks, and then getting into the position again, doing your movement, walking forward, and throwing it down. Well, the fact that if you have it at the right height, you can get in a position Do your movement and then you just drop it you don't have to go forward so you can really go to exhaustion and uh, I think that's another cool feature of really any of these ones will work for that all right so let's go over the final thing and probably the most important thing which is the cost the cost of the pin and pipe are 7775 the cost of the spotter arms is hundred and sixty two dollars and the cost of the straps is hundred and ninety dollars that's without shipping, they're just straight from Rogue's website. You can get them anywhere. I'm not an affiliate for Rogue. Uh, just make sure that you get them for what size rack you have. This is a three by three with the, the whole spacing. Just make sure you get them from Titan. You can get them from wherever you want, uh, but that's just the price of that Rogue website. Um, taking that into consideration, I think the winner is going to be, for the budget-friendly option, the pin and pipe. It's gonna function, it's gonna last forever. Um, also, if you put that pool noodle on there, you can cut down on the noise. The only downside is, like I said before, is the length of times it takes to set it up. Um, then if you're gonna go between the other two, the higher priced items, I would go with the straps. Um, I would go with the straps personally because I like to stop doing stuff in the middle of the rack. I don't necessarily need to be outside of the rack. But if that's an issue for you, and you wanna be able to use it on the inside of the rack and the outside of the rack, then go for the spotter arms. But for me personally, I love the straps. They're easy to set up. They're easy to put away. Uh, they're easy to move up and down the rack, uh, just so long as you're not wanting to do things on the outside of the rack. Anyways, this has been Aaron, Curls in the Rack. Check out the website. We got free workouts over there. We got a bunch of other stuff. Um, what do you think of the safeties. Which one would you pick? Which ones do you have? Anything I missed here? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Until next time, peace.